Do we need to start going modular, buying all those expensive, amazing looking hardware modules to create raw minimal? Or is it just a nice to have thing and we can get great results within Ableton as well? Well, I want to show you a module from Mutable Instruments, which is called Plates. And since it's open source, it has been ported to a Max for Life device, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you some use cases on how we can use this Mutable Instruments plates, previously braids, inside Ableton without spending hundreds of dollars, euros, whatever. And uh, yeah, let's jump in. Hey friends, Silvano here from roughinstudio.com. Just recently, Behringer announced that they will bring out a cheaper alternative of the open source modular module from the famous Mutable Instruments plates, which is, by the way, a macro oscillator, right? A macro oscillator is basically a module that offers different synthesis algorithms, right? So we basically can switch between them. So for example, we have wavetable, noise, percussive stuff, like kick, clap, and so on, right? And another feature of those macro oscillators is that they often just have a limited number of parameters to choose from, right? So we can really have one tool for different tasks, right? So back to that uh, bearing thing. So when I first saw that video, I thought, okay, should I, should I start creating a small modular rack too, maybe? I was really playing with that thought and started writing down some possible modules that could create the sounds I want. And quite quickly, my conclusion was, it's very expensive to go modular, right? At least in a hardware world, right? So you end up quite quickly spending thousand plus euros, right? And I'm not saying it's not worth doing it, but right now it's simply not the right time, at least for me, right? So inside VCB rack, we have all those mutable instruments devices as modules, right? Since I don't use VCV rack and use reactor blocks, I was kind of limited, right? Now Softube has also some options and, but again, you pay for that, right? Now I thought, okay, there must be another option to get those mutable instruments modules, right? Now we have VCV rack, we have hardware and we have soft tube, right? Mutable instrument stuff is open source, which means everyone can use it, right? So some smart people like Gustavo Fernandez ported some mutable instruments modules into Max for Life devices. How amazing is that? Now, if you don't know this module, look it up quickly on YouTube, Google, whatever, uh, mutable instruments plates. And then I share some use cases with a track that I started and I think is a great example for this particular module as a Max for Life device. We go through some different use cases. We create the baseline, we create some kind of uh, reno yeah, texture thing to fill up a little bit the gaps um, with the noise setting. And then third, we create some effects, right? Some fills, some whatever it is. So yeah, I hope you like it. Let's jump over to Ableton, no talking. By the way, if you like that no talking between the screen recording, let me know. If I should add some talking, let me know what you prefer so I can do it in the next videos. For me, it, honestly, it's easier to just record the screen without talking and then add some captions. Maybe for you as well, I don't know. So yeah, let's jump over to Ableton Live.
All right, so let's sum it up quickly. So as you can see, as you could see, it's not quite difficult to come up with some useful stuff within just a few minutes, right? The baseline is not 100% perfect, but it's a very good starting point in my opinion, right? So we can create bases, textures, percussions and so on with this simple cheap but powerful module, right? So yeah, we don't necessarily need to spend hundreds of euros on such modules, but can at least start out and get results within a few minutes that is useful, right? So yeah, go and grab it for one dollar if you like it, support this guy, Gustavo. I'm very, very grateful for such people to do such things. And I mean, think about it. We live in the best world we ever could have been, right? All we need to, to make music is basically Ableton, our creativity and the computer, right? I mean, if you think 20, 30 days back, what people needed to create art, to create uh, music especially, right? Uh, electronic music, you probably needed to spend a lot of cash, thousands of uh, euros to create such music, right? And nowadays we have the ability to learn for free, like this YouTube channel, we, we can get Ableton for very cheap, we can get those modules for free, which uh, people created, right? They put in the effort for us, right? And we can create great art. Now, if you want a cheap or free starting point for your kick, grab my softbot snappy raw minimal Ableton Live kick template. I put the link below. Also from the Max for Life device for the plates. If you compare the kick, the softbot snappy kick and these plates and use the bass setting and maybe MDD snake like I used to trigger that uh, bass line, you can create quite quickly, I would say, a great foundation for your next project. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. Thanks again for your time. Hope to see you in another video. Cheers.